back. Here we are for part two of our current Pikmin session. As we said, we're going to the Forest of Hope today, looking at four parts. Let's do this. Just entangling my cord there. Between Nunchuck and Wii Remote. Let's uh, see what this has done. Yeah. A little bit of technical help from a viewer. Yeah. Let me know if you ever note any differences. Take all 36 of our blues. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. It's a lot smoother looking. Interesting. Gotta take my uh, worker reds. Fifty. Takes so long for fifty Pikmin to come out. <laughs> hey, uh, Red Maker, is it okay if I um, subscribe to you as well? Or we rather. Uh oh, he's dead. He's dead! They're all dead! Okay, I finally squished him Mario style. We have lost a guy today. What is this? You guys! Get out of here! Hmm. Things have not stayed constant here in the Forest of Hope. Alright, at least we'll have lots of bodies to bring back. This will help bolster our blue numbers. Indeed. Well, it's not that I don't think you, it's not that I think you would mind it. I simply think that uh, it would be more polite to ask you before I subscribed. Come on, camera angle change. There we go. Alright, let's see. There's that path. Is this big mama? <laughs> Attack! I don't like when that happens. I'm trying to help! I'm trying to help! Yeah, um, it is easier to use the, uh, the Wii mode than it is with the GameCube remote, right? That it is, because I can just zip around like this. This. Do you ever have accuracy issues, though? Not really, you know, considering my distance from the TV and everything. What is this? Apparently we're being offered a pro tip. That's a bug. Sure, we'll take tips. Gladly. He's just running around my camp now. He doesn't even seem to be a threat. That means he has hidden treasures. Put the workers back. Yeah, apparently, if you just want the uh, the pigmen to like to attack them straight up, hit them from the back. What do you mean? Like with the big ones, approach them from the back and then gangbang them from there. All right then. But you know, it's pretty much standard procedure. Efficiency is the name of this game. Take the guys we do have and cross the water here. Those guys are scared. We're fine. That time we get to work on our first part. Basically, onto the back of the um of the big ones, like like really really fast. They'll actually um attempt to throw them off. Right. While the little ones still trying to kill them, so you won't lose any. So it's like a flank, in a sense. Yeah. I killed one. It's always a good day. It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be a Pikmin. It's a good day to be a mindless blue carrot? Yes! When would that not be the case? I'm not quite sure. Oh, 
Um, have you ever done the challenge mode? Heard of what? Have you ever done the challenge mode? I have not. Nor have I ever truly beaten the game, so that's why I'm not focused on challenge mode right now. Right, because Red Maker says we probably should try it. Oh? What changes about it? Yeah, what changes? There we go. Apparently it unlocks the moment you get the blue ones. It unlocks what? It unlocks the moment you get the blue ones. Interesting. Well, I, I do have it. I've seen it at the title screen. Oh. What was that noise? What did you... Wait, no, like, what did you do? Like, I accidentally threw some guys, like, under the bridge. There we go. Let's put those guys up there. Everybody work on the bridge! Quite fast-like. Apparently, it's it's still the time limit and everything, but it's also about how many Pikmin you can grow in a day. Really? That's interesting. Definitely gonna have to try that out. Yeah. Our uh, blue numbers are definitely bolstering. It's very good. We're approaching the halfway mark on the day, and we're about to get one uh, part. We've already bought plenty of breathing room. I know. But, yeah, still one part is still the quota. Like, no matter what. Uh, oh, there's a lone red out there. So lonely. Apparently he reaches over 350 in this area every time. Like a boss. Well then. I imagine that takes more than five. He gonna pick up, and then this one. Actually, I could have used those guys. Nope. Just come on. Here we go. Plenty. Doing good on our Pikmin numbers, I think. As long as you've got enough to do whatever you plan to do, I'd consider that a victory. Indeed. Alright, now I need to go this way. Eh. Good job with that tree root. Gotta be a better way. No, it looks like I can do this. Yeah! <laughs> I made it happen. You're so, you're so good at this. That spring. It's uh, it's something. That's for sure. Is it mean? The spring isn't mean. I know that much. We still only got a few leafy guys. Look, we got one part for the day. What is it? It's like a gem looking thing. It's probably important. Sagittarius. <laughs> Never mind. That's pointless. Wait, wait, wait. Sagitt isn't that a star? Sure. Shock absorber. Oh, it needs 30. Be right back. Stay put, little guys. And don't go near that big thing. That's right. Well, the ah, that scared me. What scared you? Oh, yeah, that that, that would probably be pretty terrifying. All right, we got 44. 44 little leafy men. Wonder 
Frick Maker's still here. Um, we could probably ask him if there's any way to get rid of the lag. Yeah, entirely possible to ask that. Oh, good, he's still around. Is there any way to get rid of the lag? Because we're running with a bit time delay here doing duo commentary, and it's rather annoying. It's annoying for you. It's annoying for you, too. You complain all the time about it. Only, like, when it's, like, really obvious stuff. Like, obviously, if I jump, then you're probably gonna... You're, you're, you're gonna know it's coming. You're gonna have to fight that thing. Yeah. Planned on it. Okay. From the back! It just kind of shook off everything, but hey, we lost very few guys. I like that strategy. So there's really nothing we can do to fix it then, all right. I'm not surprised, honestly. There we go, we got enough. Then let's lift this guy. More than enough. Still got three guys following me. He looks creepy when he's dead. He does. All right, let's just head back, I guess. We got two parts. There's like two more, I think, in this whole place. Maybe. This is cool being able to interact with viewers. Yeah, that's part of the reason I started uh, streaming. But you know, YouTube has its comment section. That's not to be uh, yeah. discounted at all. I'm not saying that like either one is good or bad. Right, or right. I'm just saying it's cool interacting with the people that like your content. Yeah. Something Gratifying. I've enjoyed thus far. Put dead away. Alright, where are the other parts anyway? Oh, we've still got that one lone red. I'll want to go get him. Uh, there's that entrance, which I can only get to through water. And then I'll go pick up that lone red. Mm, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't pick up that red. Alright, shock absorber. So, uh, when you, um, now when you go to the little, uh, screen thing, it won't go all sway sway? Sway sway! Sway sway! Possibly. I don't know, I imagine most of the parts don't, uh, don't carry too much weight in the actual game. Come on, little guy. In the actual game, I imagine it's more to just kinda talk about general properties of space travel. Alright, while they're doing that, I'm gonna take my little Olimar hole. Let's go rescue that one, uh, that one red. I imagine I'll be coming back here tomorrow, so I'm not going to pick the blue guys in order to save time. Alrighty. Let's go, red. Eh. There we go. When this day ends, we really need to blip the stream. Yeah, that's the way that we'll always do it. I'll pick enough guys to uh, be of service in lifting a slug. I haven't heard the music of we've completed a task yet. And there it is. Which is the uh, the sound of the uh, blue ones finishing breaking down that wall, right? Exactly. I'll take these guys to lift the biggin. So we can get a few more sprouts. Did you slug? Alright, there's that. Now I gotta run back to my guys over at the wall. We're almost done on this day, and it looks like we'll, uh... We'll have done sufficiently well. Really? Almost sundown? Alright, let's at least look at what's ahead. An even stronger fence. That's awesome. Everyone just get to work until the countdown starts. Oh! That's a boss! That looks really cool. That... that thing... It's dangerous. Yeah. That's gonna be trouble. Come on, I want it to fall one-third. Just one-third. Here comes my countdown. FALL A THIRD! FALL! I'll go till th ah fine let's go Eh 
hope you don't lose all these blue ones. No, I won't. I'm very close to base. And... Ah! Good job. Too good. We'll probably oh. still see them filtering in right now. No, you don't see the, uh, the blue one, the blue onion. There's the blue onion. Yeah, but it's panned to the right when you when you do that, so you can't actually see them fly in. Mm. Still, we got two parts for the day. So, <laughs> we, we have something like three or four days of grace at this point. Ah, oh, we left at least one guy behind. Was it that one red one? Yeah. No, it was the blue one. Six days since impact. The Pikmin that I, dop that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. Left behind two guys, lost 26 in battle. Our blue numbers have now exceeded our red and yellow, it seems. It may not say so at the bottom, but it says so on the graph, so I imagine it's not fully updated. Could have to do with the sprouts I haven't picked, because those could just be the onion totals. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. But, um... Alright. Gotta flip the stream, and then we'll we be right back. <laughs>